palpate the medial patellar border and make a 2cm skin incision from the superomedial corner extending to the center of the medial edge of the patella. The short 2.4mm guide pin may be drilled with the parallel guide or freehand. Position the parallel drill guide against the patella and adjust so that the first guide pin will be placed at a 0.3mm distal to the proximomedial corner of the patella. If drilling without the parallel guide, the first laser mark on the guide pin is used to ensure proper guide pin depth. If using the parallel guide, drill the 2.4mm guide pin to the second laser etch mark off the parallel guide. The longer guide pin is placed 15 to 20 millimeters distal and parallel to the first guide pin using the parallel guide. The parallel guide is removed and both 2.4 millimeter guide pins are overdrilled with a 4.0 millimeter cannulated reamer to the laser etch line. Pass the suture tails of one graft end through the eyelet of the first 3.9 millimeter swivel lock anchor and push both the graft end anchor into the proximal drill hole until the eyelet is fully seated. Maintain tension on the suture limbs and screw the swivel lock anchor into the patella. Repeat the swivel lock insertion procedure with the second graft end. Place a blue number 2 fiber wire suture onto the graft. A template is placed on the medial epicondyle on the distal femur and, under fluoroscopic guidance, a 2.4 mm guide pin is targeted at Schottel's point and is drilled across the femur and out the lateral epicondyle. The pin should be aimed slightly proximal and anterior to avoid the intercondylar notch. Identify the space between the vastus medialis and the capsule and bluntly dissect towards the femoral insertion area with a scissor, leaving the capsule intact. A 1 cm longitudinal incision is made at the level of the 2.4 mm guide pin. The 7 mm low profile reamer is then used to create a socket extending to the far cortex. The 2.4 mm spade tip guide pin is maintained in the femur as it will be used to pass the graft sutures into the femur. The right angled clamp is inserted through the patellar incision and posterior through the femoral incision. Using the right angled clamp, pass a looped number 2 tiger wire shuttle suture to the patellar insertion area. Load the blue number 2 fiber wire suture into the tiger wire shuttle suture loop and pass the sutures from the patellar incision to the medial femoral incision. Deliver the sutures out of the medial femoral incision with equal tension on both graft bundles. Place a 1.1 mm nitinol guide wire into the femoral socket next to the 2.4 mm femoral drill pin. Loop the blue number 2 fiber wire graft sutures into the eyelet of the 2.4 mm femoral drill pin and deliver the suture tails out of the lateral femur prior to the graft entering the socket. Using a clamp as a pulley, pre-tension the graft and insert it into the socket with equal tension on both graft bundles. Once the proper isometry of the construct has been confirmed, final fixation can be accomplished. While maintaining tension on the graft, insert the 6 mm by 20 mm biocomposite fast thread interference screw into the femur. The blue number 2 fiber wire graft suture is removed by pulling one end, and fixation is complete.